This is the Schmo with the pro with the UFC number one pound for pound fighter in the world, the heavyweight champion, DC Daniel Cormier in the flesh. How we doing? I'm doing real good, man. Thank you. You know, a few months back, the Schmo parked the van pretty close by the river over by AKA, but we heard Khabib's a no-nonsense guy, didn't want to scare him, so we pulled back on the mission, waited for this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go messing with Habib. It's not just Habib. It's him and his 20 people that he travels with. Now, Stipe, no one defended the heavyweight title more than him. And then you come in, you move up the heavyweight, never lost. You get what you were looking for, the knockout. You saw him in the clinch. He put that left hand down, man. Obviously, he's going to go back, do some studying. You know something about that detail, ESPN. <laughs> what do you think Stipe is going to do to improve his game this time? <laughs> I mean, I think he'll make some changes. You know, I think this will be a longer fight. It'll be a better fight. Um, I'm sure uh, every fight is different, you know, so I don't anticipate catching him with that same punch, but I'm sure that uh, I'll still get my hand raised. And you're a father. He's now a father. How do you think fatherhood changes his mental fortitude for this one? It makes the motivation easier to, to set your sights on. You know, he's uh, he's got his daughter now, which is, which is great, and it makes it easy to get up and go in the morning when you know and you can see clearly what you're fighting for. Your buddy, the best-looking guy in the UFC, the male model, Luke Rockhold, yeah. he moves up to light heavyweight, gets knocked out, man, doesn't get the result he's looking for. What's next for him, you think? I think for Luke right now, he just needs to, to take some time. He had surgery on his jaw and, and then kind of just reevaluate, see what he wants to do. You know what I mean? As a competitor, you want to rush back in there. I think he needs to take his time and just really, really, really make a decision on what's best for him, not only... Uh, physically but mentally you know like take some time with the people that really love him and and decide uh, how, he, how he'll continue because he still got that face right you can always model that's right polo baby <laughs> now talk to me for a second why didn't Brock Lesnar want any of that smoke he didn't want the smoke Brock wanted to Brock decided to stay in the WWE you know and, and I think it's smart right you you to go and perform or you come and fight me right it just makes more sense to uh Stay in the WWE. Well, if we had a Mount Rushmore, we'd put your name on the list. Greatest MMA fighters of all time. Who's on your Mount Rushmore? You get three more. George St. Pierre. Demetrius Johnson. Mm, George St. Pierre. Demetrius Johnson. Myself. Amanda Nunes. Well said. Finally putting a female fighter well-deserved in there, my friend. Now, if you get the results you're looking for, what are the chances you ride out in the sunset, man? Held up high. You're over 40 years old now. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a possibility. You know, every day, every fight is one at a time. And if this thing goes as great as it did last time, and it just feels like that fairy tale ending. Like, this game will speak to me and tell me uh, when to walk away. And if, if I have that moment Saturday and it just feels complete, then I'll, I'll, I'll walk away. And you don't need to fight Johnny Bones Jones at light heavyweight, heavyweight, super heavyweight. The Schmo just made that one up off the top yeah. of the head. You don't need to fight him again. I don't need to fight him again. No, I'm good. I'm good where I am. That's right. Now, what's your one message for all the DC fans out there worldwide? I just want to say thank you, guys. I love you for the support. Make sure you tune into UFC 241. It's awesome. Keep watching the Schmo. He's the pro. I'm the Schmo. UFC 241 in Anaheim. We're out.